Here's another look at that beautiful rock from Kyla. Setting things up really nicely. They're close to the win with that one. Now in the last end of the game, Team Clybrink has a draw to the button for the win. What are you doing? Oh, hold on, the guys didn't pull. I just made a call. They made me way more cash than you guys ever will. If you want to destroy the sports books, come join the number one sports investing community on the planet at inplaylive.com. Stronger agronomics, better returns, greater peace of mind from pre-seed to post-harvest. You can count on the Victory Canola program to keep you and your farm ahead of the curve. Grow with us at VictoryCanola.com. We doing tonight we're doing fantastic mark it's another it's another awesome night of curling yeah we got a lot to live up to after last night's uh, epic yeah. match between uh morizumi and McEwen. um and look to have another one between another uh canadian rink taking on a rink from uh pacific asia region i don't think we can have um uh, another curling game like last night's two hour and 45 minute eight end at marathon yeah no no but expect to have a good one here this one yeah. does have some i think some playoff implications here as uh caitlin law's rank is three and one heading into this and fujisawa's two and two so trying to maybe sneak in i think the top two from each pool go to the playoffs yeah and I was looking, they are, they've played four times and um, Caitlin has won, won the first two and Fujisawa has won the last two. So, Really? Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. Wouldn't have thought they would have had that many matchups. You know, I think, you know, for me, I still think of Caitlin being very much associated with the uh, with Jennifer Jones, but I guess it's been a while she's been, been out I, on her own. I think some of those are still when she was playing third for Jennifer. So they don't really fully count, but she still played them. Interesting setup so far. We've got uh, corner guard, rocks in the ring, and a guard that's a little bit off center, but definitely some room to operate here. Yeah, this is... It's an interesting strategy tactic from Fujisawa. Without last rock, ignoring a rock in the rings and coming around this corner, her own corner guard. Looks to be coming in just nicely. Yeah, it's a great shot. It's <clears throat> it's pretty tight guard. So not a lot of danger here. No, not a ton here. Looking to run this back and kind of roll towards the middle. Yeah, the kid, the what they want the most here is to hold the shooter. If they can hold the shooter on the rings, if they miss the back one, they don't really even care. The key to this shot is to hit and roll to the center line on the rings. Taking a quick peek over at the YouTube chat, looks like we've got quite a few people, over 300 people watching us there. So 
Uh, thanks for joining us for those that are watching some evening curling here in North America. And then I guess it would be morning, early, I believe. Early morning over in Japan. Yeah. So here's the question. After coming around the corner guard just to force a half miss, do they like coming around this tight center? I mean, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, why not? Well, the danger is that if the if they run back that tight center, it's not that tight, I guess. But if they run it back, it, you know, you're coming around their rock. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they could always stuff it and then leave their, sh you know, shot rock covered behind their guard. So yeah, a little bit of risk involved. You make it, but not it's afraid to mix nice it up. To be first. It's always nice to be first in. And I think that's kind of the thing we've seen here um, all all weekend here. It's and uh, in Edmonton, it's just you know teams putting trying to put each other into like kind of tricky positions here. Yeah. And I like this aggression here. Gonna have to go Absolutely. for weight here. Coming up a bit short here. Oh, the ring. So, I mean, I suppose it's splittable later, but no need to mess with it now. Just hit the open one and and sit two if you're uh, if you're locked. Yeah. She's hoping for a nose hit here. So I believe we are on first of Vice's rocks here. I believe that was Selena who just made that hit. A little bit yeah. roll to the inside. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a decent result. So probably gonna. You know, I like I like I was saying, it's easier to draw a rock to a spot than hit and roll a rock to a spot. But it's very very risky to ignore to ignore those rocks and start drawing to the center. So they're gonna play hit and roll inside. Because of the stagger on those guards up front, got a lit. They've got some some leeway to roll here, so definitely think this is the call. Even if it was just a single yeah. guard, this one here is just hanging out a bit wide. So I don't know if they were trying to audible and get a little bit of a slash double, but well, they were sweeping it for curl, so they had the sweeper there to try to get it to curl. If it curls up a little bit, if it if it. If it stays out a little bit more, you might make the double. It might have made it, yeah. Out. Rolled out, yeah, exactly. I think they'd much rather this, like hitting here on the wing for now, and um, get a little aggressive later on. This one should roll to the roll. inside. It's... Nice <clears throat> shot there. Yeah. Again, I think they would have, they, if they could have drawn it up, they would have loved to have nose hit there to make this roll a lot wider, but you got to make it. Yeah, still got to make it. So it's just basically whoever's able to make the, uh, make the roll here first. Sweeper's on this hard here. Definitely crossing the face here. Yeah, it looks like it might roll out. See if we're hitting it. Yep. So we are doing a good job just to hit it thick enough. It will roll and end up settling for what appears that to be a tight little measure. So Caitlin on her first is deciding. It looks like Fujisawa, Fujisawa has hammer in this end. So Caitlin's just going to nose hit this and see what happens, see what they do. Mm -hmm. Just just play a nose hit here and you might see the you might see Fujisawa come around this mess in the middle anyway, even if she nose hits this. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking here. Dynamics changed just a little bit with that rock being behind the T, yeah? Yeah, I think so. But if it shot rock, it's it's risky to go around this center line guard this early. You know, it's the first end. Get out of this first end with a force in your... It's great. Looks like a nice nose hit. I think almost no hesitation to play this intern draw. Yeah. Wow, over yeah. 500 people watching us on uh, Curling Zone YouTube. That's awesome. And and we were watching. Um, if you were watching the practice ice at the at the very beginning. Um, Fujisawa played her draw to the button on the other side of the sheet, not on this side of the sheet. Oh, not on this sheet here. Just on, just on the, on the, they played the intern the other way. Shouldn't really impact it, but they've had a lot of, they've been here for a few days, so. Yeah. You know the ice. They should, should know, know the yeah, a little bit later, I just, you know, late draw in the day, so we'll see how it holds up through the rest of the game. It definitely impacted. Got a lot of rooms yesterday, here. but it, see, they can come down to the back, back one and be one. shot. And it does. Not bad. Forces a shot. We've actually got to be a little bit concerned about this because if she dead freezes or if she's not quite frozen on that back red she might have set up the double off the yellow for two yeah so other turn and actually she's not even freezing to the back one he's choosing to go going aggressive and going t-line here yeah i think i i like that call for just just those reasons you mentioned right just I mean, you can always just go top four, and then if you're heavy, go to the backing, I suppose, here. but Well, with this turn, it kind of it makes that angle. Like, if she if she kind of corner freezes onto the back one, not over buried, then it takes away the double. If you play the in turn and you're a bit on the outside, you might actually leave the double for two. So this, if you come down to the back one, you almost never leave the double for two. Also, you you just have a better chance at burying here, burying on the button and put some pressure. Final rock for Caitlin Laws. Plenty of room to work with here. Yeah, just that's really got a good eight. It's going to curl. It will finish at the end. It's they like the weight. It looks like so it should yeah, finish. A, I think they're a little hesitant to go because of the weight here. Yeah, that's a it's an excellent result. It does finish here. Question is, can you come down with backline weight and push it past that back? Dig it out, yeah. I don't think so. But you know, Caitlin got by the guard by a solid rock. So like they were they were by the guard by a lot. So if yeah. you do skinny this guard and it's moving, you might it's you might be able to this is this is just a situation where you have weight is so critical like the weight that you want to throw is probably just enough to get it to the back line on its own and then hope yeah. it's curling and let the sweepers take it yeah they do have a little bit of luxury that it is kind of you know the back red is pretty much frozen on it so they can afford to like maybe chip it a little bit but not too much possibly they're also thinking that they can so they they're thinking that they can also hit a quarter rock and make this over the top with a little bit more weight okay so it looks like that's what they're actually playing they're playing sort of the double on the two yellows and trying to get it over the top of the back red oh i see yeah that's interesting Final rock for Team Fujisawa. Just hitting a third quarter. Yeah. I, oh, 
Oh, oh just took the guard. So Ooh. that is going to no. be yep. a steal of one for Caitlyn Laws. Fujisawa will keep the hammer down 1-0, and we'll have the second in for you just, uh, just after this break. pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Hey, so dude, I'm just building up my parlay for Sunday. I'm all over the Bucks. And then we got the Panthers, the Bills, and the 49ers, all locks. But it only pays plus 229. So I'm thinking I might need to beef up that number just a little bit. <laughs> what? Hold on, the Rams are playing on Sunday Night Football. No chance they're losing. Oh my God, dude, you said the same thing last week and you keep losing. Don't be this clown betting on NFL parlays this season. The way the Sunday schedule is set up is that you make a parlay for the early games, you miss, and you start chasing in the afternoon games, and then the night game hits and you unload your bankroll trying to play catch up. If you're interested in making smarter decisions on the NFL this season, I'm putting on some free training right now where I give away my top five secrets on how to profit on live sports investing. And we're back. <laughs> yeah, that was fun end. Yeah, definitely fun end. A little bit more open, a little bit more space um, than we've seen in some of the earlier games, but definitely still a lot to think about here. So yeah, Fujisawa looking to rebound from giving up that steal after uh, wrecking on the guard sets up their corner. Team Laws has got one in the rings and then one on the center line here. Yeah, and that and with that guard over, just coming a little tight and um, and over curling a bit, it opens up. That's going to open up this corner guard because they can hit this roll to the outside. And if they if they manage to roll to the to like the back eight, and Caitlin hits it, you might see Fujisawa just ignore it and go around her corner. Yeah. Thanks for all the people that are joining us on the Curling Zone YouTube page. We've got over 600 people watching us. There are plenty of games that are being broadcast tonight from uh, from Edmonton here. Um, the two cells did wrap up earlier, so we've got <clears throat> this event, and then plus I think there's the uh, Youth Olympic Games finals kicking off pretty soon here. But if you head over Curling Zone, you can get updates on all the uh, all the games and all the scores and links to all the streams but i believe this is the only one with commentary so if you like yeah. some people talking about curling with some strong opinions you come <laughs> to the right place so here's a strong opinion that rock just went sideways and i think it grabbed something yeah. as it was coming in and they ended up hitting and rolling behind a guard they had no business rolling behind yeah one they couldn't even see the whole thing and they got inside fortunate picks or with something. Uh, yeah with with a significant amount of weight, 
And you now Caitlin's team, they just shake it off and play this freeze. Sometimes you don't get breaks in curling, and that what you have to do is just, you know, shake it off and make your next shot. Draw around to, let's see here. Yep, just full 12, almost by the 8 foot. Fujisawa, not a look to go to me on the corner, but just rather kind of stack something on their corner freeze. Yeah, they might think about going around that corner. Um, this corner freeze doesn't, the corner freeze isn't, if you bounce out, like there's some risk with the corner freeze. Yeah. But you, I mean, if you come around that corner and sit buried, you have a good chance too. So they're going through all of the they're they're thinking about all the options, right? Corner freeze yeah. on the top yellow and you you're basically playing pretty aggressive. You could also come around your own corner guard. Mm -hmm. Forces Caitlin to make a real decision about what she wants to play. Tap her yellow or play this outturn freeze onto the shot rock and just try to keep the rocks in the middle. Or peel that center. So she thought about peeling the center as well. And it's not really a peel. It's more like a hit and roll. Hit and roll to the other corner. Yeah, yeah. Just hit and roll to the other corner. So she decided to go with the sort of the middle of the aggressive ones, right? So with the hit and roll to the corner being the least aggressive. She's going for come around this corner, which is going to leave Caitlin with a question of what she wants to play next. Yeah, exactly. It's one one awesome part about this shot is that it's not a like it's not obvious what the next shot is. So you might see them have a little conversation here about whether or not they want to go, or whether or not they want to they want to um, play a little more cautiously. Ooh. This one runs a hair deep, but it's kind of in a tricky spot. Just maybe no conversation. A, she's just playing in the. She's playing the hit and roll. I think it. I think the simple fact that they can see three quarters of it just takes away any thought about whether or not they should. If it was dead buried, they might have had a conversation. But yeah. since they can see this, it's they. It's it's not completely buried, so it's it's quite hittable. That made the shot selection automatic it's a good looking shot this one <clears throat> will end up spinning back towards the center line ends up settling back eight foot now fujisawa with the decision here and i think to... she's just gonna try to make it better this time still yeah. come around the corner and try to make it better had two rocks down this path now and should be they're debating about freezing to the one that was just thrown. Yeah, I, I think that kind of comes into play, but then then Caitlin goes on top, and then you're you're kind of racing there. So they might be hesitant around coming around this corner guard because they they're just guessing the ice so much. It looks like what they're trying to do is go to the open side. Basically, back eight foot to sit to you on the on the open side in the back. Yeah. So the logic here, the logic here is that they just they they want to kind of waste a couple of rocks. Like they 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 want to sit two right now, but they don't need to sit two great. They're sitting one great, so they want to just kind of like sit two. The, the idea wow. is to sit two, but not get yourself into trouble. <clears throat> that one was just through weight. Yeah, maybe just even through. easy hack. Yeah. So now Caitlin's got a decision where she can start opening up this middle here, and I think she's going to keep it. I think you're going to see her play this outturn freeze. Yeah. Um, on the top one. We're only on thirds first here. So, you know, half an end to go. You're looking at just kind of like corner freezing on that on that red, and it's going to be a pretty lonely red. It 
Vikings. I, I will say that the ice looked a little bit on the tight side, but it did. But it, I should be, I... uh, it looks like it's going to be okay. I suppose they don't mind bumping that red either if they're catching it, right? Yeah, just said, oh, that's a <clears throat> not bad result because it pokes the yellow out a little bit more. The yellow that was on center line, so now that yellow can be easy, much easy, more easily promoted onto the red. Yeah. But the problem is, is that this yellow is wide open and. They might, if they can get, if they can get a little bit inside here. Inside, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, it's a dangerous rock for Team Fujisawa. So if they're able, yeah. they would they definitely need to make a play on it. And if they were to get to the inside, and they should be able to get, get maybe get to a second shot here. Well, if they can get a hair to the inside, then you're gonna see. You're definitely gonna see either run of the guard or try this yellow. You're probably going to see Phelan run the guard if they get inside. This one appears to be a maybe a hair up. Well, this could... This could if this what is... you don't want to do is make it for... Yeah, they didn't... Oh, oh just wow. Yeah, it didn't seem to be concerned about trying to carve it over. Um, but maybe it was just, it got to be more weight than they were asking for. Yeah, I think it was just overthrown a bit. <clears throat> so now the question is, do you promote the yellow or try this slash double on the reds? That's what they're talking about. The slash double on the reds has a bit less risk. Yeah. You know, if, I, I think the slash double on the reds... It's, they chose to just play this hit and side, hit and roll inside. Cause I, th I think if you run back the yellow, there's, I mean, you might get unlucky. You might stuff it on the back. Yeah. They're looking to, they're looking to be edge on edge behind the center line guard. So just make it so that they can't hit and roll inside. But bury, bury, a, bury a quarter of an inch, a couple of millimeters, whatever your, your. Um, desired measurement choices are. You want to just bury it a bit. Yeah. And that's a good down weight from that's, Selena there. That's, that's almost perfect. <clears throat> that is a lonely, lonely red rock. Now you got to probably have to play this in turn around. Yeah, just draw everything and just maybe go back, back four. Yeah, uh, even, back four is dangerous too. Yeah. Even half open top, top button. That is that has. A I don't, of, I don't like that. I think they're looking at the. I think the team wants to maybe peel the guard. But this is a. This shot right here it comes with some risk. Yeah. Last of Vice's rocks here. Looks like they're sweeping it for. It's like they're sweeping it for line. It's this coming is, up nice. Yeah, this is much better weight. It's a good looking catch shot. Catch the back one. Oh, thought they might catch the back one on the way. That was a good result. <laughs> Well, in turn, yeah. draw to the back. This is the shot that the the last shot from the first one in, right? If you can get this, if you can get this to the back forefoot and be shot, just full back forefoot, and then they freeze and you freeze. You then they don't have a shot. Are you surprised? Is is would it ever make sense to just you know, maybe tap the? The yellow that's kind of like top top eight top 12 there yeah you know like this whole end has just been driving towards that shot the risk is is that your shooter's going to roll out and if you ever do miss that back one like it or your shooter's going to not out of the rings like your shooter's going to roll out yeah. to the out to the eight foot 
And if you ever do miss that back one, you just, you open up, then she comes in and freezes on the top of it. Now all of a sudden you're like, you bring three into play. So it is a kind of a make yeah. it or you're in trouble shot. Whereas this, like if you can go back four, like you're, you can visualize how you're going to steal with this one. Or worst case scenario is a force to one. This one's coming in nicely here. This is a good looking shot. A little bit of that knifing action there. It just gets back button. Very well done. Yeah, so that's a that's like so you you kind of think about it, right? Like now all of a sudden you're there's just it's hard to see a scenario where they're gonna get a deuce without a miss by you. Right? Like it's just it's going to be real tough. Like they could pick that out and then you throw it again. And then like, there's just, there's almost no way that they can, they can sit two now. Fujisawa has no, almost no shot at sitting two. I think what they're talking about is what is is like a setup shot. Yeah. What can we play right now to set us up for a, for a chance at that last rock? There was a little talk about... Are you talking about... I think what they're talking about here is trying to hit the yellow onto the red onto the yellow. Okay. So, so just a hair high side, yeah? So yeah, like... Um, uh, Eighth of a rock, quarter, a bit more than a thick eighth, I guess. And yeah. as it's going <laughs> past, game. just just catch it. Just catch that red. That's yeah. their hope. So these yeah. rocks are pretty lively, right? This is yeah. you no, know, you don't want to try this at home. But if they can if they, they want to hit this a lot thinner than they think they want to hit this, you almost want to try to hit it to miss that back <clears throat> red. It's gonna be it's it's unless unless they're playing something else that I'm unless they're playing a tap that doesn't look like tap ice to me that looks like yeah I that's like, what yeah. I was thinking I mean it'd be nice to keep the shooter around here you know yeah I think they're the gonna edge. lose but I think it might be just like a control weight tap like a, a control weight and instead of they're not trying to lose that back red one but they're still trying to hit now going hard for line. Red. Does make contact and just like that. Yep. So it's good result. Does and open it up. It does. Yeah. Now if Caitlin can go what just like top four? Yeah, she's Top well. Button. The ideal situation here is she's currently sitting one, right? So the ideal situation is to try to sit top button, sit two, yeah. um, three quarters to fully buried. Yeah, yeah even like even Christmas tree you, a little bit. Yeah, like if if you dead split the center line <laughs> would be perfectly ideal, right? Just give them a little bit of the outside of the back one. It, it really this comes down to the sweepers. Like if it's if it's curling, then you want to make it, you certainly want to, if it's coming pretty hard behind the guard, then you absolutely have to sit two. If it's hanging out there, you don't absolutely have to sit two, but you, then you have to make sure you're guarding the back one. So I think, I think Caitlin just throws this and, and a lot of communication between the team to decide where it's going to be and where it's going to end up. Final rock for... Caitlin Laws wants to be above the T, ideally sitting two here. So it's pretty far out there, but it's starting to bend, which means That's that it probably should be, the weight should be pretty good. Close. I think it's maybe a hair light. I think they're just, yep. Yeah, so it's just going to be a guard. I think that, I think there's a chance Got to go way out, but there might be a chance. Well, I think they're looking at the oh, double look here. At that. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. They, uh, 
Looks like, again, a quarter rock double. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the easiest way here. I think yeah. you could probably follow it down and tap this the way that it curls. But this double is very intriguing. You'd, you'd have to, you probably have to play the out turn at this double. Yeah. Which is, which is, if you, because you then have to put the rock, you have to put the broom kind of at the middle of the rock, which is again hard. It's a hard shot <coughs> to throw. Mentally, this is, this is an, this is an easier shot to visualize. Yeah. And it's an easier shot to, this is just like come down to it and let the sweepers tap it. They only have yeah. to tap it. Exactly. Yeah. And then two rock, inches, yeah. right? Yeah, so we're looking for maybe yeah back eight. Yeah, I think back you eight, even think, you think um, you think about throwing this T line and let your sweepers Manage do the it, rest. Yeah. So she's got a little bit tighter ice than Caitlin had, just a hair, and you you let your sweepers pound it. This again brings in a steal of one though, because they are they are going to be flirting with that guard. Final Rock, Team Fujisawa. Just looking for a little tap. Sweeper's on it early, saying she it's... She tends to throw it down. a little inside out, so she's got a little bit of a... Having to go hard. Out. I think they've got room here, just the weight now. It does look like it's got room. They it's seem got like room. It could... Now it's got to carve it in. That's well done. Yeah, that's a good shot. It's a good, solid deuce. A little, a little bit of a panic there, but yeah, well, good sweeping uh, by the front end. Well managed by the front end. So Fujisawa gets their deuce. Uh, they'll take a two to one lead. Uh, Team Laws will have Hammer in the third end after this break. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Stronger agronomics better returns, greater peace of mind from pre-seed to post-harvest. You can count on the Victory Canola program to keep you and your farm ahead of the curve. Grow with us at VictoryCanola.com. We are back. My name is Mark Note. Joined on commentary by Matt Haim. We've got a good one here between Team Fujisawa and Caitlin Laws here. This is the 17th draw, wrapping up round robin play of the Savile Shootout in Edmonton, Alberta. Oh, we might have an open end here. We'll see. They're going to try to throw another center. First center just came into the ring, so hit, hit it and rolled out. Yeah. So we're gonna we're certainly gonna have less guards anyway. Yeah. 
while they get this end set up, we'll take a quick peek at some of the other games going on. So, a lot of curling going on. I think is this the last draw of the night? This has got to be the last draw of the night, yeah. I think so, but I don't yeah, know. Just now they have a lot of stuff. But uh, for updates, you can head on to curlingzone.com, and from there you can see uh, which games we'll have streaming. But this will be the only one with commentary for tonight, I believe. But taking a quick peek, we got Einerson up. 3-0 uh, over Cameron, uh, and then there's Team Grandy up 2-1 over Team Hunkin. Uh, Carrie Lucia up 3-0 over Richards. Uh, Kayla Skrillex up 2-1 over Sturmay. Uh, Marks up 2-1 over Team Homan. Then we've got Gray Winters and Team Jones. Uh, they're uh, they're blanked so far. Team Martin and Tabata is 1-1. And Team Brown up 3-0 of Team Anderson. And then we also have Team Gim taking on Team Hartwell. And they are 2-1 to there. We are trying the split here on our sheet. Just a little little tick. Might have been made maybe just a little bit more weight than Kalen was looking for. Caitlin, rearranging the rocks in the back here. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, making sure that the yellows are on the yellow dot and the reds are on the red dot. Uh, I always do that too. Yeah. See, uh, that's something I don't think about being an arena curler. You know, we just we set up before our games and then take the rocks off the uh, off the ice. You guys are just them. happy that the rocks are there on the ice and away uh, you go. Right. Yeah, we had a. We had to learn to curl earlier today, and this is our first one of the season. And I had to, we had to check to make sure that they had the rock cooler on, which thankfully it was, but the rocks were pretty warm. Yeah, that's rough because you can't really cool them down by slide, by throwing them because then they just, when they sit and then when they stop at the other end, they just sit there and melt into the ice. Oh, yeah. Well, here we go. We got some, uh, after after trying to keep this a little tiny bit clean, we're coming around a couple of staggered center guards. So it looks like we're going to have ourselves an end here. We'll in turn come around. Yeah, we'll see what. Rotation. Jocelyn Hasworth, this is really tight this already. This is going, yeah. This might crack the guard. And we're going to have a lot of guards in play here. Might have been just a little bit quieter than than needed. Just a little just a little light and it went like crazy. It's not a it's not a horrible result for yeah. Laws because there's coming around wide. It's a really high guard, so if it's, you get by tight, you're going to end up being behind the two reds. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely, with the length of that guard, you definitely have some room to overbury here. Well, you can see how much more ice she's taken than, than Kaylin just took, too. It's like something that I'm, that I'm noticing is that they're not, they're taking, they're, they're not taking the same ice for shots. Is this... There seems to be a maybe a hair heavy, but no, they're they're on it to get it sweeping. They got by the guard by a lot. Yeah, they have plenty of room here. And looks like just pretty much right on the button here. Just get out. Just uh, move these rocks. It's not. It's not a super super dangerous situation. Just no. rearrange. Re uh, rewind the slam the yellow into into one of the reds there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe even both of them if uh, if you're lucky and. Now, could you make a case there? It says you could have done that maybe with quieter weight, just to 
roll yeah, the shooter. Yeah, just hold, hold your guard for a shooter. Yeah, you can. Um, the risk of that is that you, you don't have as much control. Like, you know, Jocelyn throws it pretty hard, so you put the broom where you want to hit it, and then you just, you know, the result is you, she's going to hit it around there. Whereas with a little quieter weight, you have to take off the rock a bit more. And then you you have less control, right? So if you ever nose hit it, then you're not out of that. You're in trouble again. I'm going to so carve just... this one here. Get it to the center line. And coming right to the brim. Yep. Now, which double are we playing here? I think it, she, run. yeah, I think you just I think you run back the center yeah. line one. It's tightish. Yeah, a bit tighter, so you take a crack right. at it. You put the broom where you want to hit it, you throw the out turn, you throw a peel, and you take a lot of the guess out of this. If you can throw it good, it should stay right there. And these these ladies can throw it good, so First rock for Selena and Negum in this end. This one's coming up. It's going to be pretty close. Yeah, might have just... Offset. I had just over curled a bit on them there. Yeah. I think she was hoping that it curled a bit more. Yeah, I think they kind of maybe just got caught in between. They just got caught in the middle of it. it was a... Never swept it. So they were hoping it would just it would just curl a bit more. We'll see a long guard. Higher the better. Yeah. Because they're probably going to hit this rock. They're not at the point yet where they're going to come in. So they're going to they're gonna take one more crack at it. So wherever this, if this rock stops in front of the yellow, they're going to hit it. So the farther away from that yellow you can be, the better. Sweepers on this early, but no, they're on the it right inside away. sweeper here. So maybe a tad worried about mine here. Mine looks pretty good. I'm just trying to hold it up. It's going to overcurl, yeah, but... It's going to a, it's gonna overbend a lot. Yeah. I think the yellow run back is still, is still there. Now it's a question. Now again, you, you got to throw a little bit more of a control way to make it, but I think you can make it. Oh, yeah. I think that's that's there all day. Yeah, you got. If if, if anything, you, you guard the high side there. You can't afford to over curl that guard. But not putting the broom down right away here. Plan looks like a, a little firm. Normal. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more normal weight than weight. I would have thought. I might play this with a little bit less weight. That's what I was thinking. They're too, talking yeah. about it right now, but they're. They feel pretty confident about normal weight. It's a big shot. Sweeper's off this. Yeah, you have to believe it curls, have right? To curl here. I think it's just gonna get it just to yeah, no, it's not gonna make it. Yeah, and I think that's the the danger of kind of playing with that way. With a little bit less weight, you can manage it a little bit more. You got to throw a perfect shot when you throw normal at that. You've just it's got to be so right on. Um, you know, you could be a little bit more aggressive, throw a little bit, throw a bit less, give it to the sweepers, and have a bit more control over it. If that was open just a little bit more. You might have seen them throw it even harder, but it was, a, it was just a smidge buried. So it, ha it had to curl. It definitely had to get it had to get pretty close to the guard with normal weight. Yeah, and there was enough separation with the guard. I think they could have gotten around it here. So yeah, if you're, if you're a team food just are you happy with the size here? Or would you be okay taking a, a hair more, knowing you have some tolerance on the high side? Yeah, like I think I think you, I. I think what you want to make sure you do is is not over curl this, and it's very easy. The rocks finish so hard at the end. 
again though in this she does she does have a tendency to throw slide a little inside and then pop her in turn so i think she's i think you'll see i think this should be fine for line inside sweeper going early out of hand here but now this is coming in this should settle into a really nice spot here so yep. Caitlin's coming around to the button now. I think you'll notice that that um, the ice is the ice that they take is going to be a lot different, just in the yeah. way that they throw the rocks. So I think it. I think for me, if I was throwing that guard, I would have taken a little bit more ice than um, Fujisawa did. But she knows the way she throws the rocks. So little tighter ice, slide a little inside and pop it out. Yep. First rock from Caitlin Law is just looking to draw around everything. Get top four, bite the button here. Just cleaning by Jocelyn Peterman. I'll just go a little bit. This one's coming in maybe just a hair heavy. Well, they're still sweeping it, so. They're still sweeping it. Man, it looked like it was just a touch yeah, heavy. Like a <clears throat> oh, this is the same shot she just she just threw the last end, basically, right? Like just a little intern, just a little intern tap, get it out of the forefoot. Yep. Roll your shooter out. She's not, she's taking um, just a little bit less than the guard here. It looks like yeah. initially. Yeah, I mean, that's maybe uh, two broom heads inside of where she was thrown for. Yeah, guard for the guard. Throwing I'm back su line here. I'm surprised it's, I'm surprised it's that much ice actually. But right. we'll, let's see. She might, she might change it. Let's see the weight is just weight is just like um just like a back line yeah back line on its own last rock for fujisawa looks maybe a little bit up by indicated by the sweepers having to go on the outside yeah. to try to outside sweeper curl. Curl. that looked like a little bit that looked like a lot of ice to me but yeah. it's coming it's starting it's to carve coming. there it is it's gonna make contact. Is it gonna hit it thick enough? Yep. Mission accomplished. Team Food yeah. is sitting one two here. And Caitlin will just have to remake this draw to get our single. Yeah, so just uh same shot, Skipper. Yep. You know? The Friend end says same thing. Everyone said the same thing and just <laughs> way to go. They say that's the easiest shot. I some somewhat would disagree. <laughs> just yeah. do the same thing, yeah. Yeah, just do the exact same thing you did. Last rock for Caitlin Moss. Jocelyn just is cleaning it. Now going a little bit on the sweep here. Uh, maybe a hair lighter than the last one should be pretty close. They gotta though. go. Yeah, they're both going. They gotta hard. go now. This could be trouble. Is this gonna this get it? Is the definitely. Uh, wow, look. that one surprised them. Yeah. Uh, Fujisawa, the steal of two here. Um, they'll take a four to one lead. Take uh, laws will have hammer the fourth in just after this break.
reason we trust Western Sales with our business is the people. I'm sure that there's 100 years experience coming out of that shop. We trust them because we do a CMI on our, uh, on our combine, on our tractor. When our equipment comes out of Western Sales, it's going to be good because if it's not, they send us another combine, they send us another tractor. And we're not naive to the fact that that probably costs them a lot of money. So we just know that the service that we're getting at Western Sales is above par to everybody else. Hey, so dude, I'm just building out my parlay for Sunday. I'm all over the Bucks, and then we got the Panthers, the Bills, and the 49ers, all locks, but it only pays plus 229, so I'm thinking I might need to beef up that number just a little bit. <laughs> what? Hold on, the Rams are playing on Sunday Night Football. No chance they're losing. Oh my God, dude, you said the same thing last week, and you keep losing. <laughs> Don't be this clown betting on NFL parlays this season. The way the Sunday schedule is set up is that you make a parlay for the early games, you miss, and you start chasing in the afternoon games, and then the night game hits and you unload your bankroll trying to play catch up. If you're interested in making smarter decisions on the NFL this season, I'm putting on some free training right now where I give away my top five secrets on how to profit on live sports investing. <laughs> All right, we are back. Back with you in the 17th draw of the Savile Shootout in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Got a good match between Team Fujisawa and Caitlin Loss. My name is Mark Ngo, joined by Matt Haim here on commentary. Yeah, so that big, big steal of two has really uh, changed the complexion of this game. So you're going to see Fujisawa go into the rings and go full on defense. And you're going to see Caitlin throw another corner guard here and and uh, really work towards getting a deuce this end. Yeah. I'm trying to get something going here. And, you know, I've got to say, it seems to be the difference here is the, uh, the sweeping here on the... Uh the front end they've uh, made some shots for Fujisawa and I think they were just a little hesitant on Laws's last shot they didn't seem to be pounding it but it ended yeah they up. didn't seem to be panicking considering it was uh eight feet short ice is changing a little bit yeah or um I don't know but she's she's coming right around this corner guard instead of throwing another corner she's going yeah, right behind the guard Seems to be a little early to do that, but yeah, you know it's uh, you throw another corner guard. I think I think one of the things that she's probably thinking about is if you throw another corner guard, you sometimes choke off your own draw to the forefoot. Yeah. So like if you keep one side open, you're you're not choking off. Like she still has the in turn draw to the button now. She doesn't have an out turn draw to the button. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's yeah, you know, it's it's both. Like you just make sure your guard is way out there if you if you do throw guards, so you can stop that. You can still have a draw to the button. Yeah, and still still plenty of curling to go. Still got five yeah. ends to go here, right? And uh, you know this this could look very different if you end up wrecking on the guard here. So. Asking for just a hair more ice here for this. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to completely flash it, but you also you also don't want to rip the guard because then it goes back. This one's coming up, and oh, that's a good shot. Good thing they asked for more ice. 
Caitlin started running up there thinking it was going to tick, and then it was uh, a good result. Again, another shot well managed by the sweepers yep, there. Yep. So now you come around this corner guard. They're going to rip. You got some rocks in the rings, though, to work with. It's, you know, you want to try to get out of this end with a deuce. A single, a single makes things a little bit more mathematically hard. A deuce makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. I don't know if she set this one out a little bit, but this one's got to curl a mile here. This one has got to curl a lot, yeah. You try to take it back as far as you possibly can. I could buy the guard by a lot. They're really just struggling with where to where to put the broom and could be just releases. Yeah. They're just gonna be in hit mode here. Just hit everything. Yep. If we were to walk into the ring, they would hit us. This one here's got to curl a touch, but should get to ah, it. It's going to be fine. As long as you hit it. As long as you don't. As long as, like, they're just... Yeah. The one, the one danger, it's not really necessarily a danger, is that there are a lot of rocks in the rings. Yeah. Yeah, so at that point, do you almost want to, like, try to catch yours on the way by? I... A little counterintuitive, but now it's Caitlin a, can kind I, of build like what would be here. great is if you can just come down with a with like a little top weight and keep some of these rocks in the back of the rings. Yeah. Just kind of like just tap this. Like even if you even if you hit if you imagine tapping this rock behind the yellow corner mm -hmm. and your shooter rolls over into that little pocket. Yeah. You put a little back catcher back there. <clears throat> And your yellow rock is really hard to remove. I think that's what they're thinking. No, Maybe it seems a little like a bit lot more of weight, weight for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would play. I would start trying to think about how to use these rocks. Yeah. The weight was pretty good. The weight was the weight was like they're they're not taking anything out. So. Yeah. The weight was okay. This there's only one way to peel this with the intern. If you could, if so, it's going to be gone, and then you're going to see. I think you're going to see Caitlin draw into that little pocket. Yeah. On I the think next they're. Shot. I think they're trying to slash that. I think still playing the intern side, but maybe slashing that onto the, to the red on the button. Early timeout here, which I don't think they're running clocks here, but maybe just force a habit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they have a coach, so maybe he can. Uh, you yeah. can come out and have a conversation with them. I think they're thinking, like, we're sitting four right now. Should we hit this rock? And uh, I think the answer is yes. Yes. Yes, a hard yes. Um, you're not in, like, you're not in a steel situation right now. Yeah. But with um, half a rock to come, it can add up pretty quickly because the problem is if you don't hit that rock, what do you do? You don't, I think the last thing you want to do is throw a center guard on it. No, you don't throw a center guard. You just, you there, could, you could draw top four and make a bigger wall. No, there's just, there isn't a good spot to put a rock right now. It would be ideal to get rid of some of those, some of your rocks. Yeah. They're not helping you right now, but you still could get to a situation where, where, if you if you hit yellow onto and you try to take out some of the reds with it, mm -hmm. Caitlin could actually start like play a like if you were to try to hit that yellow onto the red that's on the button yep. and lose that as well. Caitlin mm -hmm. might actually have a triple. Crotch the reds and make a triple. Yeah. Then you hit the open one, she comes around the guard. And now all of a sudden, you know, you bring you've all of a sudden brought two into play. So I think the shot here is to just pick this out. Just straight pick this out like Caitlin Murray. Yeah. This one's maybe a hair looked a hair wide out of hand, but definitely making contact in yeah. No, it's a good shot. 
And I think you'll see Caitlyn freeze into this pocket. No. Or that's not that's also like fine, because she's just making a bigger pocket, right? So just now she just wants to keep those rocks in play as much as possible. Tap this back a little bit, and it'll be a really, really tough rock to get rid of. Oh, yeah. You're yellow. Do you have to come this way, though, where you're going across the face? Or would it be better to come the other turn? Uh, I, she wants to hit it right on the nose. Okay. She wants to hit it right on the nose and just top it a bit. So top it like a rock and a half. I think it's just a preference. I mean that if you go the other way, the rim's going to be hidden behind the corner guard. Yeah, that's true. Aesthetically, it's not nice to look at. This yeah. looks a little heavy. Fujisawa is definitely happy to sweep that back. And... Yeah, so <clears throat> that's, again, just now, now I think it's less, you're less worried about taking out those rocks. I think it just goes out on the outturn side, like just yeah, hit. Just send it through the hole. And, and it's it's actually looking a lot nicer because now they're not bunched. Yeah. They're just exactly. all over the place. That was just a little bit more weight than than yeah. you want. Should punch it through, it's just fine. <clears throat> No nah, need to keep the shit around. You're dead, you're just dead freezing. Like I, I think the tap. I think the, I think you're, you've lost your tapping. They're gonna, they're gonna have a whirl again. I don't know how you tap this in, in a way that makes it good for you. Yeah. I guess if you've, if you throw I mean, it a smidge hard and you just hit that back one and tap, and tap the other red <clears> over <throat> a tiny bit. It's, yeah, just so much separation there. And it just, there's yeah, you're just really they got a pretty easy intern smash. Like I think at this point, you might just want to start freezing. Yeah, you know the other consideration is like, is it with the rocks behind the eight foot? Do you ever just hit and roll to your corner? Maybe. Yeah, that's not. It's not the. It's, it's a decent call. I think again, like here, the idea is they almost made the perfect freeze, right? Yeah. And if, if you make the three, they blast it out, and then you could draw behind the corner and yeah. sit at the second shot, maybe even shot. Probably second shot. Probably second, yeah. But you could you could definitely you could start to put a little bit of pressure on them. I think that's what you're thinking. You're not thinking that the freeze that you were making there was going to score. What the freeze was going to make is open up the corner guards. Yeah. And it still might. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Over a thousand people on the Crown Zone YouTube page. Oh, wow. There you Thanks go. Joining us tonight, guys. Hope that means that we're bringing you some good content and hope you're enjoying the quality production brought to you. Yeah, by there's some great YouTube. shot making here, too. So you've tuned in for an awesome game. And they pick. Oh, they got that. A little bit of a roll. Okay, well that that gives oh, actually that a gives little, a little pocket pocket on the side there, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think that's where you go. That's where you, you don't go to the back, man. Right? You know better than I kid. think you go right there. The, you know, uh, the obvious issue here is that you want to over curl this a little bit. That's really tight ice. You want to over, so they're they're freezing to the. To the outside corner one, their outside corner one. Jeez, the outside, yeah. the one on the the one on the eight foot. That's yeah. That, so they're freezing to the other. They're freezing to the corner of the of the outside of the rock. Yeah. Right. That's the idea. So they're not going to sit shot, which means that, like, they're going to have to make a play on shot rock. So it's going to give Fujisawa. Fujisawa a choice like do they try to hit it and make it easier for Caitlyn or do they try to do they try to sit two depending upon how far this goes over that's the risk here right so Caitlyn puts it a little bit farther over and makes it easier to draw to sit two first rock for Caitlyn Moss 
Looking for this corner free, so you don't mind a little bit of a bump here. Kristen on it for line. Caitlin asking to whoa here. Uh, it looks this like it's on the other one. A bit. Oh, and that's not the one that they wanted to hit because that actually opens up the. That will now go. Yeah, that goes pretty cleanly. Yeah. Well, even if you lose everything in the back there, even if you lose the three on the on the wing there, I I think it actually goes without even hitting the back red. I think it'll just I think it'll just like if you have half a rock on the center line side, yeah, it hits that red. Three quarters is perfectly ideal. Nose gets it almost. There aren't too many ways that you actually yeah, that this goes bad for you. It's it's hard to, to really make really thin on the outside maybe, yeah. and and hitting in the crotch would be bad. But anywhere nose hit, nose hit gets it. Anywhere on the inside, if it crosses a tiny bit, yeah. just don't want to be on the outside here. The outside could get you into better Sliding trouble. It a bit tight. Gonna have to pitch it out there. Yeah, it, should be yeah, just it right. looks fine. Good result, too. Forces a draw. Good result, yeah. Can't hit anything, really. Could maybe hit... Can, maybe. Can't really hit the back one. No. I think that's ice for the draw. Yeah. Even though it's 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 not on that T line. Above the T, yeah. I think that that I think she's playing the draw. She's move to the T line. There you go. Yeah, that's a big pet peeve of mine. Even though I know, you know, it just it makes it a little bit easier to see if you go in front. Just always put it on the T line. That is Wait. that is also a pet peeve of mine. We have that in common. I played with a skip that would go in front of the house. I'm like, are you sure? Like, yeah, it changes just, the ice. It changes the ice. Significant. And, it, and when you're trying to remember ice, if all you have to remember is like one, one piece of data, like you yeah. don't have to remember, you know, a horizontal and a vertical axis. You just have to remember one. It's just oh, yeah. half as. It's just twice as easy. Final rock for Caitlin Law. It's looking for just by the, the four. Let's we'll see. We'll see. The last time, the last one just came up uh, biting the top eight. So we'll see if she overthrows this. Doesn't look, just it looks okay. Hit. Yep. A little bit on there, making sure it's there. That's a nice shot from Caitlin. Beautiful. So Caitlin draws for her single there. Um, Team Fujisawa will get Hammer up four to two in the fifth end just after this break. Stronger agronomics, better returns, greater peace of mind from pre-seed to post-harvest. You can count on the Victory Canola program to keep you and your farm ahead of the curve. Grow with us at VictoryCanola.com.
reason we trust Western Sales with our business is the people. I'm sure that there's 100 years experience coming out of that shop. We trust them because we do a CMI on our, uh, on our combine, on our tractor. When our equipment comes out of Western Sales, it's going to be good because if it's not, they send us another combine, they send us another tractor. And we're not naive to the fact that that probably costs them a lot of money. So we just know that the service that we're getting at Western Sales is above par to everybody else. pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. And we're back. Team Loss just getting back for a single there. Definitely wanted more after giving up this steal of two here, but... Didn't have much going for her, but Caitlin did make a good pressure draw to the to the pin to get her single. Yeah, it's really you know she missed a draw in the um, in the third end and then managed to be like a goldfish, like Ten Lasso said, and forget everything and put it right on the pin. We'll see a ticket temp here. Yeah, made and rolling the shooter pretty far out. So Caitlin will look to throw a, another center line guard. We're going to carve it over. Got to get it to touching the center. It's got to get some room to touch the center line here. Yeah, it's got to go. And quarter of a rock off there. It's definitely made the, um, made the uh, these guards be just a little bit more important. This tick is just like a very easily, it's not an easy shot, right? But it's a, it's a makeable shot. It is, yeah. But at this level, it's a, it's a very makeable shot. This one's maybe, gonna, oh, no, it's holding out there a little bit. So this is maybe hitting a little bit thicker than you want it. Is that going to get to the side? Oh, oh Caitlin is trying. Wow, that is. Oh, and the other one's spawn on. Oh, that's disgusting. That's a great shot. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I wonder whether or not it would be better to have a couple of sweepers, like like have your third up there and help. Oh, sure. Yeah. I don't know. Is it too Man. much to think? Like you take it right into that frost and it just stops. Yeah. And then. They take it dead behind the corner guard. Just Yeah, and you run out of room with the barrier there. It's all right, so just gonna throw some center guards here and Hopefully... we're gonna we're gonna have some center guards and some peels, so Yeah. It's uh it's gonna be pretty interesting. One of my favorite parts about watching all this curling on YouTube is that, is that you can just like, you can fast forward really fast. Yeah. You can't fast forward live. We're yeah. watching live curling here. But when you watch, if you're not watching this live right now, do a little FF because you're going to, you're going to see some uh, peels and guard and peel. 
appeal is made. No, I... I can remember playing in a game in a, in a cash spiel before the pre free guard zone rule. Mm -hmm. and we won the we won the game 2-1. Oh. And it was but in that game, I'm telling you, in that game, I never I wasn't bored for one second of it playing the game. Like yeah. you just want to they throw a guard, you peel. It was really fast ice. It was really good rocks. It was it was pretty hard to nose hit appeal because yeah. the rocks were so lively. I understood. You understand though how the how the free guard zone rule changed the game, and oh, yeah. how this you can't tick if it's on the center line. Yeah, can increase offense in this game. Team no. Laws there electing to go behind the corner there, and Slane is really trying to get it over, and it's uh, pretty open here. Yeah, they got half a rock. The idea here is if you dead bury it, and then they and then they run the guard, then you throw a center guard, and you give them a choice to what they're going to yeah. play next. I like this call. Yeah, I like it from both sides. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you just get out here. Room looks a little tight for this inside out shot here. Yes. It does, doesn't it? it? Looks like they're gonna hit the guard, so the they're taking the guard. Didn't get the result that Where is they this were going to oh, roll to gonna roll behind two berry behind this little corner. Is that... All right. I think that I might be off. So now now I think you'll I think you'll see a center line guard. Could yeah, split. You split the rings. It's, those are the yeah. only two options. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Eh. I mean, what's the it purpose is, of that? It is, just trying to so steal. So the purpose of they're not trying to steal. I think the purpose of this is to just try to waste a couple of shots. Oh, if you yeah. throw a center line guard, they'll run the center line guard into this. Yeah. So yeah. there is a risk with that, right? The center line guard would have to be probably <laughs> where Caitlin's left foot is, just to make it really tough. So this, what you do is you throw a half guard, they peel, and then you might see her start to get a little bit more aggressive with a with a better guard. Yeah. So it's it's really it's a patience thing, and it's a let's just waste a couple of rocks so that we're not doing this too early. They might try to hit this with an intern. Yeah, I and, and I I mean I kind of like that guard placement. You show them a little bit here, you know. Yeah. It's honestly, if they uh, yeah. if they wreck on this guard and they yeah, they, they might send it into the ranks. ranks. Yeah. Well, the, even in a tough probably situation. the 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 shot is to just kind of walk up and rip this guard. Again, you know, you never regret throwing a heel. <laughs> no. Yeah, because you can peel it over. Well, yeah, unless you're worried about peeling this it over is, this. This That's is not a hard shot, but it does it does increase the risk. If you if it does curl a little bit too much on you and you take the top one, you're just increasing your your exposure in the scent. Sweeper's going hard to carve it in here. Should make they're good contact. They're going to get yeah. a solid piece here, and they might even stay behind this one. Oh, that is messy too. Little, little courtesy sweep on the end behind the corners, the corners. So now I think, honestly, I think if you're, I think if you're Kaylin, you throw a center guard here. You're in. Oh, it. I mean, you have that guard there. You can uh, center guard. I sort of like a tight center. Make them take a run at this double. Take a run people. at the double. Yeah. You're. You're gonna like they're they're gonna take a run at this double peel no matter what. You can't really go on the rings because it's too tight. So like you want to try to put a rock in a spot that makes this double peel a little tougher. This isn't this is again this is a good this isn't a bad call. No. If if you can get this rock dead buried, that double peel is a little tougher. I don't think you want to. 
This is gonna end up. This is a double peel yeah, here. Please, oh. and Jack to the back one. It might be. It might be Jack to the one that's in the rings though. So that could be good. Yeah. Might, there, there might be no way that they don't hit that. They might have got a lucky little break here. Definitely some angles to consider here that you wouldn't if, don't normally if, see. Yeah, I think if you had half a rock on the top one on the on the on the board side, yeah, where bet where she's got her broom right now, it misses the back red. Oof. So I think it. I think it'll. I think if you hit half less than half. You know what they say, a thin yeah. half. I thin think half. I missed the back. Oh, big pop. That is a lot of weight. This is going to be... Not going to hit it in half, half, so... Lots of mayhem. Yeah. Uh, got a little bit better guard out of it. Now you got a piece of the forefoot. It's a smidge still not quite tight. So you still have to you, – now you want to come on the rings, and you're thinking about if you can get on the rings, you don't have to outcount those other ones, so you could just be a biter. Just make some separation here. Yeah. And then if she peels the top one, then you come around the one on the rings, and you hope she doesn't make the run back. You're in You're in hope territory right now. Right? Yeah. So there's a two. Do you ever just want to go maybe further back? I mean, you got plenty of – room to work in the rings here if you go like back eight back 12 right yeah, the problem with back eight like they can hit and roll to the center like it, it's it's that such a high guard that it's easy to remove like what you need to do here is throw a better guard that's what you're thinking about doing yeah almost anywhere that you put this in the rings like if you put this in the rings on t-line they can they can hit it and roll out like and roll away i mean yeah and now they're laying three and you're doing that again and hoping they miss the shot they just played. So you're hoping here that you make a better guard, top 12, they peel the guard, then you come around your rock, and then that's when you can go back eight. Because, like, you get out of this end with them with a force, and you're pretty happy. Yeah. You're, you're not really in a steel situation. You're, you're hoping for a force right now. And, you know, a, a solid miss, which we haven't seen out of. No. But a, a solid good. miss, you might get a steal. This is going to just wrap around the guard. I think that's a good shot. It's yeah. a, it's, a, it's not that bad. Like, there's, there's, a good, there's a good size human being between the two rocks. So, Fujisawa just looking to draw open here? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, so again, I mean, like she's not gonna, she's not gonna make the it. double. She's decided she doesn't want to try to make the double. There's some risk with the double peel. Yeah. I'm not sure that I'm not sure I would be playing this turn, but there you go. Just trying to draw the back forefoot yeah try to tease them into like if you can bite a piece of the forefoot i'm not sure that caitlin can actually get buried and get a piece of the forefoot <clears throat> it's pretty tight because she wants to kind of overbury a tiny bit to ensure that you can't get it out mm -hmm. so they're trying to get a just to bite the forefoot puts a lot of pressure on Ka I think you'll see Caitlyn play the hit and roll if she can get this. Yeah, in just have to roll for your life, yeah. So, Sweeper's off this here, but I guess you can afford to be heavy. This one's coming in just maybe a hair hot. Ends up settling. Center line, back eight foot. Yeah, so you uh, you got a chance at getting shot and buried. Yep. And then throw it and hope. Yep. 
because if there's if you can see any of it if she can see any of it she can throw a little hack weight out turner for four and handshakes so you got your your assignment is clear dead buried and um probably right on the t-line maybe just above it yeah you just bite the t-line and you're shot We've been throwing this line pretty consistently now. Granted, yep. they've been for guards. Bring it into the house here. And well, they certainly yep. they know the ice and they know the weight, and the ice doesn't seem to have changed. Although the sheet just to the left of or there, our left, their right is off, which makes changes the ice a bit. Yeah, we have had a couple of finals here. We can update you in the next end here. Well, if. Caitlin doesn't make a good one here. There might not be a next stand. That's true. Final rock, Caitlin loss. Looking for a piece of the forefoot. Buried. Really trying to be buried and just biting the T line would be perfectly ideal. Totally buried. Sweepers off this here. This does not have a great line yet. Here it comes. Starting it's starting so to finish. Far. You yeah. see how far she got past that guard. That is it's not a bad it's, result. It's yeah, just half a rock. This is yeah. it. This is um, this is a shot for handshakes. This is a shot yeah. for what would you like to drink? <laughs> she doesn't. I th I think even if she doesn't stay, oh yeah, you know, yeah, so. there's, yeah, it's three, like three, maybe four. It's three if she can. It's three if she can get rid of the yellow. Yellow. It's four if she can stay and get rid of the yellow. And it looks like she's playing the kind of weight. Like you could think about playing the kind of weight where you just tap it like a foot and a half and get two and go yeah. up six two and you're in total control. You yeah. could also you could also play it where you just kind of like pick it out, you know, like a normal and pick it and get three and you know there's handshakes. Yeah, she looks like she's playing in that middle part where it's like for the four. Yeah, which is again, you know, it's this is a this is a skips call. This isn't. There's no wrong way to play this. The right way to play it is the one you feel that, that you can see and you can make. Last rock for Fujisawa. Sets it off just a little bit. Sweeper's on it early for line. Both sweepers going now. Does clear the top one. Will it clear the second I one? It it's fine. Yeah, I think it's good, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Makes it, rolls towards the center, and that's a four bagger. Four bagger, yeah. Doing a courtesy check to see if the other one's in there, and I don't think it matters if they get five. Yeah, I think they called it. Hard to see, but I think she called a four. But yeah, no shakes. it's definitely four. Maybe a discussion here. So, do we want to play down eight two? Yeah, three to go. That's the question for them here. Yeah, with Team Loss. This had some playoff implications, but we'll see. We'll see what they decide to do. And maybe, uh, I don't know if we'll cut to a break here and see what they decide. Well, it looks like they're playing. All right. We'll take a quick break and uh, we'll be back here for 6 then after this break. Here's another look at that beautiful rock from Kyla.
setting things up really nicely. They're close to the win with that one. Now in the last end of the game, Team Clybrink has a draw to the button for the win. What are you doing? Oh, hold on, the guys that didn't play, I just made a call. They made me way more cash than you guys ever will. If you want to destroy the sports books, come join the number one sports investing community on the planet at inplaylive.com. The reason we trust Western Sales with our business is the people. I'm sure that there's 100 years experience coming out of that shop. We trust them because we do a CMI on our, uh, on our combine, on our tractor. When our equipment comes out of Western Sales, it's going to be good because if it's not, they send us another combine, they send us another tractor. And we're not naive to the fact that that probably costs them a lot of money. So we just know that the service that we're getting at Western Sales is above par to everybody else. Sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Yeah. For that. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, we're still curling here. So, uh, Fujisawa with a really nice, you know, controlled weight shot in last end. Picks up four. And uh, we're playing on here. So. Caitlin had set up the corner guard, but they ticked it closer towards the center. Yeah. Do you actually just do you actually just throw a center guard here so they can't take it? Or do you throw a, a guard and hope they tick it to a corner guard? I don't know. I, don't know. I almost think you maybe almost like almost play like a split where you tick it towards the corner and roll towards the center. I don't or not towards the center, but towards the other side. Yeah, it's a good question. Like, I, I think you just need guards in play in places where they can't throw double peels because they're gonna, they're gonna throw some, they're gonna throw some double peels. Yeah, I haven't read too many curling books, but I don't know if there's a lot of help for down six. No, down six, you're just you're you're in you're, the, I mean, you're in the same mode they were in last last end, which is hope for misses, yeah. and. Um, Hope for misses is never a good strategy for curling. Maybe at my level, not this level. <laughs> right. When, the, when these, yeah, when Fujisawa's Fuji team is playing how they're playing, the hope for miss strategy is not a positive one. Yeah. It doesn't end well. So um, we'll have the playoffs, I think, the set for tomorrow morning. I'm not sure if there's going to have tiebreakers or what the format is, but. It's looking like there's going to be quite a log jam here at three and two for this uh, third pool. So take a quick peek at some of the other games. Uh, Einerson wrapped up early uh, over Cameron seven to one. Uh, Team Granny up four to two over Hunkin. Uh, Galusha up four to two over Richards. Skrillik up five to two over Sturmay. Team Homan up five to seven over Team Marks. Uh, got a final in the Jones over. Gray win, uh, Withers. Uh, uh, Tabata Martin all walked up two apiece in the fifth. Uh, Brown is up six to two over Anderson. And if that holds up, that that's uh, that's another uh, set of teams that are in this pool here. Remember yeah, so it's going to be interesting. I, you know, I've always wondered about the psychology of something like this. Like the beautiful thing about our sport is that you can actually shake hands and nobody thinks like, oh yeah, no, they shouldn't have quit. Like you can, 
you know, you didn't ever hear the commentators say, you got to hand it to them. They hung in there right to the end, right? Like they, yeah. they didn't, they shook hands and they went upstairs and they regrouped. Mm-hmm. And I sometimes wonder whether or not, like whether or not mentally when you're, when you're playing a game like this down six, they, you know, in their, in their shot history and their game history, they've come back from some, They've had some massive comebacks, but you you don't expect it at 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 this level right now. No. So, like, what does this do to their mentality for tomorrow or any tiebreakers that are happening tonight? Like, does it does it make them better to grind like this and be missing just off the inch like this? Like that that shot is not what they were calling for. No. And they're just they're they're just missing a little. They're not missing a lot, right? Like they only missed by a foot. There, you know. Just if that's take that rock and put it, move it up, and just right on top. Yeah, it, it's perfect, right? So they're they're just missing a tiny bit, but those tiny bits just add up to your to your mental game, and they just eat at you a little bit. Sometimes I think it's better to just regroup and go upstairs. Yeah. And they'll pick that rock out, so Team Laws will have a chance to make it better this time. Caitlin Quick up there to put down the broom. Thanks to the people watching here, uh, Chrome Zone yeah. YouTube. Still uh, just a shade under a thousand watching a game that's uh, eight to two, which is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we lost we lost a good hundred people after the after the take of four, which is. You know that's legit. Yeah, I don't blame you. I was, I was. I don't blame me either. <laughs> um, I think, I think we can, um, we can confidently predict the winner of this game. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to just watch how it progresses. That wasn't the call. That wasn't the call, but it, you know, again, it's not a bad. It's not a. No. It's not a bad shot. That I think you're going to see them just rip one of these corner guards one of these guards just start getting rid of some rocks but yeah oh look at that they're they're just gonna wrap around they're just gonna wrap around because of course they are yeah why not i mean you have some liberties you can take here you're up six why not come around i mean again this is at a certain point, you're still feeling pretty confident. There's half an end to go, but you're still feeling pretty confident in everything that's going on tonight. So, uh, I guess the other thing, too, someone had mentioned in the chat, some people probably have gone to work at this point. No, oh, that's true. This one is going to wrap up. Yeah, it I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking that anybody who's watching from Japan is going to leave because they're enjoying this right now. But Oh, sure. The some other people might have just been thinking, uh, you know what? It's a two. I might go to bed. Yeah, fair combination of the two. I'm sure. Where I am, it's ten forty p.m. Got nine forty for me, and then there's some other curling on. I think the Cowboys Giants game. I think that's a blowout right now. Oh well, yeah, it's NFL day. It is. NFL and curling day. Got a good one here from Team Lost. It's going to yep. get around it's both. That's a good looking yeah. shot. Does all right. Now all they have to do is put another put the, put the another three more behind there. Yeah. And maybe this is part of it, right? Just score another score here and then shake, you know, possibly. I, I, mean, I guess, yeah. It's... It's, they're playing back, you know. They're playing him back to the home end. They're playing him back to the home end because they didn't want to push him back. Um, you get quarter rock here on the outside, and it probably gets the back one. Even if it doesn't, you get rid of some rocks. Yeah. Got a curl. This is looking this pretty close. Bit. No, this is looking perfect. Oh. oh, that's fine. That's the way to miss that. Yeah. Kalen's got to throw this out, turn, draw around, and now you're going to just 
you're just setting up a lot more rocks for them to run that red one into. Yeah. Yeah, I think someone's asking about the, the tiebreakers in the chat. I'm not sure, guys. I don't know if it's a draw shot challenge or if it's going to have some tiebreaker games late tonight. We'll try to find that out and let you guys know, but not sure right now. So we're just trying to go back four foot here because you want to put three rocks back there. That's the thinking. Then they're going to run this red into something. Could it's not a bad spot. Could be a little deeper. Right now, it's it would be ideal that it would be deeper because right now it's there's a massive pocket there for to run the red into both right. yellows. Yeah. And honestly, if they run the red into both the yellows, you might really seriously consider shaking because most of the rocks are down there now anyway. Yeah. But yeah, anywhere high side and you're anywhere yeah, on the it's... broom side yeah. and you're, you're clipping something. Gold. Even if you hit even if you hit half a rock and you nut it into that back one and get rid of your shooter, it opens up the it opens up the rock right behind the red rock. Like there's really no there's no danger here. Maybe take it as a danger. Just like really flash it, but it's been throwing it so well. Yeah. Gonna get something. He's in uh Get one. Uh, yeah. Gets them both. Nice shot. And it's just their game tonight. All right, so. Intern freeze to the back one. I. They talked about the outturn. She is leaving her gripper down at that end. That's which le leads you to believe that she has no intention of going down to the other end with a gripper after yeah. this. End. So I think this is the be would what I would I would be interested to hear why they played the six end, but yeah, they played it. They did. They're playing it. They're communicating. They're talking. Yeah, playing it out. Yeah. First of skips rocks for Caitlin Moss. I mean, the freeze to the back one. Sweepers off this. Jocelyn just going a little bit clean. He's got plenty of room here. I think they want the weight to come off. I think when she looks back on this game, she'll like, obviously it goes without saying, but that the draw and third end, yeah. with the skill of two is one that she'll want back. Yeah. When she puts that in, it's a different game. That yeah, really yeah. was a massive momentum swing. And it just, it just made, it made things just a little tougher. Yeah. They chasing all, Chasing all Let's game. Jason and and yeah, you know they had an they had an okay end set up in the next end in the fourth end, but ended up being forced to one. And then of course you just kind of go for it, and it's fine, right? Like you, if you're gonna yeah. lose, lose. Like there's nothing wrong with it. You know this that you think about that end, and and if make that you're two two. It's it's all these it's all those you know the what, what could have been and yeah the what ifs yeah and, and sometimes you don't even want to reflect on those as a as a team you just want to go upstairs and regroup and figure yeah. out what the what the tiebreakers are and or if you're out what it is next, what you're playing next time yeah we be curious to see what the tiebreakers are can't. Last rock for Fujisawa, probably last rock of the game for them. 
Look yeah. at just put something on the T line here. Oh, that's moving sideways at the end there. Yeah, look at it go. Yeah, and a good sweep there to cover. Raylan's got an eight turn, out turn draw to the edge of the button to get her one, All or right. a little hit and roll. A little hit and roll. At least she's got a smile on her face, and she's throw the spinner. Throw the spinner. She may, she, uh, she's definitely not taking a ton of ice. Is this, is this a quiet hint roll or? I think she's, I think she's, I think she called the draw, but this looks like pretty tight ice. So maybe she's throwing some rotation. She didn't, she sort of indicated it. A hit and roll, but then said, no, let's draw. He's taking a bit more ice there, but not much. I would, I would, she's, she's definitely drawing. Yeah. Final rock, Caitlin Moss, looking for a piece of the button. That's off. Good rotation, not a spinner. So I think, um, I think there are draws to the button for Hammer. Yeah. Um, Where are going to end up being the tiebreakers. So the cumulative draws to the button. Is going to chip off that one? And not enough. Uh, not enough. Looks like it's going to be a steal of deuce. Yeah. Steal of two for Fujisawa. I'll well, look they, at it really quick. They're mathematically almost out of this game, so I think they have to shake. Yeah. Well, that was a very well-played game by... Fujisawa and the whole team, they they made a lot of really good little hack weight hit and rolls and, and made a lot of great shots. Yeah. Yeah, definitely an impressive game by Fujisawa. And it's, you know, scored not quite reflective of, you know, how tight it was. But, yeah, it was that, that big steal of two, you know. Yeah. It's uh, changed everything in the game here. Big seal of two, a couple of really good ticks in the, um, in the fifth end to get those little outside biters. And then, you know, they, they couldn't hit them at any point. And the way they went with a big take of four to absolutely solidify the win. Yeah. So we'll see uh, how everything shakes up for the playoffs. But uh, for those of you here at home curious, um, head on over to Curling Zone. They'll get that updated as soon as they get that information. Uh, yeah but anything else matt no that was it was a lot of fun thanks for doing this yeah and thanks, thanks everybody for... for watching all right guys have a good night thanks for watching good night the reason we trust western sales with our business is the people i'm sure that there's 100 years experience coming out of that shop we trust them because we do a cmi on our uh, on our combine on our tractor when our equipment comes out of Western sales, it's gonna be good because if it's not, they send us another combine, they send us another tractor. And we're not naive to the fact that that probably costs them a lot of money. So we just know that the service that we're getting at Western sales is above par to everybody else. Here's another look at that beautiful rock from Kyla. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium.